All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from the Leftfield Brewery, and they are out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and this is their squeeze play, the black currant variant. So this is a sour ale that is brewed with black currant puree and dry hopped with Cascade hops. Comes in at 4.8% alcohol by volume at 10 IBUs in the time of review. This can is approximately two and a half months old. So when I was up in uh, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada at the 2019 Liquid Art Festival, uh, I stopped at a local LCBO, picked up some beers, and this was one of the beers that I grabbed. That was back in mid-June. So this beer has been sitting in my fridge for about six to seven weeks, about six or seven weeks. So I could have drank this one under a month old, but I didn't. Kind of got lost in the shuffle. So many hot four beers I needed to get to. So I was like, this one probably can just sit and hang out. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, I've had beers from Left Field before. I really dig what they do. I can't say that I've had a sour from them. Maybe I have, uh, but yeah, I dig their stuff. Um, on the back here, they have ingredients because I'm pretty sure all uh, beers in uh, Ontario, at the very least, they got to have ingredients on the label. It says water, malted barley, black currant, wheat, hops, and yeast. So the fact that wheat's in here and whatnot, I'd imagine, even though you just say black currant sour, it's probably like a Berliner Weiss. So uh, yeah, anyway, let's crack it open and throw it into a glass here and see what we got going on. I figured I'd drink this one, you know, eight, I was going to say, you know, ASAP, but that clearly wasn't the case, but I wanted to get to this before the end of summer because, you know, this is early August right now uh, when I'm reviewing it, so I'm dating this review, and it's super hot out, and I felt like this might be a uh, good summer crusher, so let's get a pour here. Oh, yeah. Black currant puree? Sure. That definitely looks like they're using real black currants, no doubt, so they do a bunch of different squeeze plays. Um, I noticed I've, I've seen some untapped friends, some of my Canadian untapped friends um, drink a bunch of their different squeeze plays. I think they have like maybe 10, 12 different variants. Uh, but this is the only one that I saw when I went to the LCBO, so I grabbed it. So yeah, that's like straight up purple. Magenta. Uh, even the head, uh, you know, somebody might say that's like a pink. That's actually like a light purple, about a finger of a really creamy light purple head. Uh, looks very turbid and murky. Looks kind of, I don't know, kind of like a fruit smoothie of some sort. Yeah, anyway, let's get a nose. Hmm. I'm getting like a not, if I was doing this blind, I would say I'm getting more like a um, blackberry as as, a, as opposed to black currant. There's a little bit of like an acidic vibe here, a little bit of a funkiness, even though it's a, a kettle sour, I'd imagine. A little bit of grainy weediness. Like I feel like the base beer is a Berliner, even though they just say kettle sour. A little bit of like a citrus tone, maybe from the Cascade, like a grapefruit, orange peel, orange rind. And I'm gonna, you know, gotta be honest, I'm getting like a spiciness, almost like a pepper-esque spiciness. I know, that's my terrible palate. But at the same time, like, it's there for me. Yeah, very fizzy too. I don't know how it's gonna sound on my uh, microphone, but very fizzy, like a soda pop. Yeah, it, listen, it doesn't smell bad, but it, just doesn't smell great either. It's just kind of very subtle, uh, not getting a ton of the fruit, and also the base beer is just kind of muted and muddled. So anyway, let's get into it. Cheers. That's, yeah, that's really refreshing right now. First thing I will say, this is, this is tart, not sour for me. Um, I always say like there's a difference between for me personally tart if you say something tart it has a little pop of sourness little 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 tartness if you say something sour i feel like my it should be mouth puckering right like a lemon or something this is like medium to higher side of tart it doesn't really approach sour for me uh the flavors yeah black currants there it almost gives me like a welch's grape juice kind of vibe to it maybe it's just the color of it playing tricks on my mind my mind's playing tricks on me yeah, um, the, the thing that I can say about this before I get into like the actual tasting notes and the body mouth and everything is I could drink a lot of this. 4.8%, I could you know drink three or four cans of this. I can already tell you right now, I will get like a little bit of like heartburn or acid reflux because it, it definitely has a pretty decent acidity to it. Uh, but like the taste is really like just, it's thirst quenching. Anyway, we'll go to body. Body on this 4.8%, higher side of light body, approaching low uh, medium body. Uh, so it's not thin based on the percentage, but it is you know it's, it's somewhat watery, but not full on watery. 
Mouthfeel, crisp, clean, effervescent. Um, they're not using lactose in here, which so many of these beers nowadays, like you think they just throw lactose in it, you know, bump up the creaminess. So this one, you know, just drinks like a straight on Berliner Weiss. The flavors, the black currants there, it can be mistaken for black, blackberry, like a, like a, you know, like a red grape. Um, it's passed through the palate, a little bit of that graininess, a little bit of that weediness uh, from the base um, sour. Um, that Cascade hop, there's like a omnipresent like citrus character, orange peel, orange rind, grapefruit peel type of thing going on. This finish is relatively dry and um, yeah, relatively dry. It actually dries out pretty decent on the palate. There's a little bit of residual sweetness, but not much. This is not a sweet uh, fruited sour. And I'm also getting, and this could be from the black currant itself, I'm getting a little bit of like a, a spiciness. Now, it's kind of like a slight pepper spice to this, but it doesn't have any heat behind it. It's just like, it's, it's like you're, it's like I'm drinking a pepper. Again, this is very subtle, very minute, like the fourth, fifth, sixth character, but I'm getting like a slight like pepper tinge to it without the heat. Yeah, it's almost like I drank it. And I'm like, I'm expecting like a jalapeno habanero kind of like spice to come. It just never does. I feel like that's from the black currant. That I, I do feel like it is from that. I, I can honestly say I've never had black currant. I need to grab some at some point if I can find it and just try it. Uh, because, you know, the colors of it, it, it always looks in beers like it's a um, blackberry or like a red grape. But um, yeah, this is pretty good. I don't think it's anything special. Uh, price point on this one was $3.95 Canadian a can. So you're looking about three bucks American a can. It's a 355 milliliter uh, can or a 12 ounce can. Um, for three bucks, is the value great? It's it's okay. Um, you know, I've had much better beers at three bucks that you know were similar to this. Uh, the availability, well, it was in the LCBO in Hamilton, so I'd imagine this gets distribution in the LCBO. Maybe not all across Ontario, Canada, but probably close to Toronto. Maybe within a couple hours of Toronto, you probably should be able to find this, if not further. I don't know if like Redbeard, uh, you get it up there in um, North Bay, uh, but I'd imagine it probably gets pretty decent distribution. Anyway, rating on the uh, Squeeze Play Black Current from Left Field. Got to be honest. It's solid. It's not blowing my doors off. It's refreshing. It's 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 a solid beer uh, as far as fruited sours go. So I can't really complain too much. But I can't go too crazy on the um, the rating. So I'm gonna give that beer a 3.5 out of five. I feel it's a fair score. I can't go much higher than that. I want it to be more like complex or just like more fruit forward. Like I'm getting the black currant, but I just feel like this is like a if you really like like Berliner Weisses or Gozas or any kind of kettle sour that just has hints of fruit, even despite the fact that it looks like this, I feel like this one be, would be the one for you. Now, granted, this is two and a half months old. So maybe, you know, around uh, three weeks or a month old, like when I first originally purchased this, maybe this was just like all the black currant and super jammy and whatnot. This doesn't really have any jammy characteristics to it when I'm drinking it right now, but I will say that I am enjoying it and it's uh, quenching my thirst on this a very hot August evening, so I'll give it credit for that. But 3.5 out of 5 is the best I can do. Like I said, price point 3.95 Canadian or about three bucks American, and availability in the LCBOs in Ontario. Maybe not all of them, but you know, probably around the brewery within a couple hour uh, radius. And uh, yeah, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. I think it's a pretty solid beer, and uh, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers. <laughs>